a heated rivalry. It's the Minnesota Twins against the Chicago White Sox. All game long here on 2K Sports. They love being here and they're ready to cheer. Over 40,000 in their seats. It's American League Baseball from the American League Central. The Chicago White Sox on hand. 2K Sports presents our MLB broadcast. So glad you're there. And it'll be Jake Peavy, our starting pitcher for today's game. Pepsi presents our starting lineups. Here's a look. Leading off the game, Denard Span. Well, Twins losing their last game. They really were hoping for a sweep. Still 2-1 against the Indians in Cleveland. When this ball club's been playing 500 ball over the last 10 games. Called strike, and Peavy's got him on one. Five out of ten probably won't turn a lot of heads, but it will if they can uh, follow up with some W's. Well, that's the thing. You just keep yourself above water, and then hopefully a winning streak will come to follow. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. Now, Steve, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Joe Creedy has great reactions in the hot corner, Gary. He gets great instincts to be able to move, glove the ball, and a strong, accurate arm. And it's Delman Young at the plate. He's 0 for 3 for his career off Jake Peavy. Up the middle. What a tremendous catch right there. I mean, what a great effort getting to that ball and making that catch. Here's Joe Maurer now, two down. Had a real strong offensive game last time out. Three big base hits. Slider misses badly with it. 1 and 0. Now the 1 0 pitch. Hit on the ground over to shortstop. And Ramirez feels the ball. Throws the first side is retired. It's called short work of three. Took six pitches. And the White Sox. Minnesota starters on the mound. Here's a look. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What do you expect? Well, when you think of Scott Baker, you think of reliability. He's not a top of the rotation guy, and nothing that he throws is going to jump out at you and surprise you. But what he does is he keeps you in the game. He will give up hits. He will give up some home runs, but he won't walk you. He won't hurt himself. He makes you earn it. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. In our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, all you ask from your players is to give him some consistency, and Johnny Damon throughout his career has done that. He's a guy that can hit for average. He can hit the ball in the ballpark if you make a mistake. The thing about it is he's a winning player. It seems like any team he ever plays on, they end up winning championships. That's what you need from a veteran like him. Oh, that is strike three. He squared the body. He is out of there. Well, I made that one look easy, huh? I mean, look at three pitches and a strike. And here's Paul Canerco. He's the league leader in ribbies. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Baker sets and throws. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. If you didn't get a chance to watch the last ball game, let's bring up the speed. Got a pitch he could drive. He hit one out of the ballpark, so I think they got to be looking to get somebody on in front of him today as well. It's going to be more no. Minnesota Twins, first baseman, number 33, Justin Morneau. Swings, hits this one in the air down the right field line. And that one's going to drop in. That'll be our first hit of the game. And that'll bring up Jason Kubel. Well, that's the start they wanted right there. You get the first guy on with the inning. No outs. Big things could happen now. Swing, hot shot. It's scooped up. And that'll send down Kubel. Too late, and he is safe at second. Rank wise, now let's take a look at where the Minnesota Twins sit in the American League. Fourth in batting average. Fifth best for hits, and they're the top ten in runs scored. That offense relentless, putting up runs and giving themselves a chance to win. And it's J.J. Hardy now. Ball strike, and Phoebe's got him on one. That is a strike. Hardy now lean out over that plate to protect. Well, I got a chance to drive one out of the ballpark. Nobody on base, and I think with that they got to think about getting somebody on in front of them because it looks like the power's coming. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher.
One two pitch coming. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. So Hardy is set down. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in hit. Ground ball, Creedy. Throws on to first side is retired. Solid outing moves on here. Jake Peavy. He emerges from the first two. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. Right fielder, number 20, Carlos Quinton. Swing and a rocket towards short. And Hardy's able to get to that. This ball is absolutely scorched at the shortstop. He doesn't even have to move to get the out. And Beckham's in the box. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. They continued the momentum they had in games one and two, ended up with a sweep against the Royals. But well, it's been a really good thing seeing this team come together as late as they've taken three straight, and they've really started looking sharp at the plate. Baker sets and throws. Swing and a miss on that fastball, and it's one and two. And you get the sense this club really believes it can make it four. There's a swing and a high drive down the left field line. Gone a home run. And the first run of the ball game. Wow, it comes with a solo home run and a one nothing lead. That's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. Fair ball swung on and missed. Now it's 0-1. This is a really momentum field home run. Uh, you get it at this point of the ball game. You add some juice to the whole offense. Well, this could be a decisive moment in the game. I mean, these hits early on could ultimately impact the result at the end of the game. That swung on and hit. Young is there. And that's going to be a base hit for Rio. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski. Well, who's hot? Our State Farm leaderboard. We'll take a look. These are the hottest bats for the month. All these guys have a similar trait, that ability to put the good part of the bat on the ball and make solid contact on a consistent basis. And they're willing to hit from line to line, not just being pull hitter. One of the best batting averages in the league. And he offers at the circle change and misses 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. Over to second for one. And they turn the double play. They get that first run of the ball game here in the second. Something to work on. The White Sox are leading one. To and Casillas batting. Second baseman, number 25, Alexi Casillas. First pitch, fastball, 0 and 1. He's 1 for 3 off Peavy. Here it comes. Strike 2, Alexei Casilla. Will now uh, be very tightly watching that strike zone. Lined up the middle, and it's caught by Ramirez. And a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. We'll finish up this Minnesota series on Thursday. And after that, they'll be home against the Tigers. Have to deal with Carlos Guillen and the rest of that lineup. A team they didn't have too much trouble with in their previous series. That swing and a ball line softly and towards second. Back I'm able to pull that one. And it's Denard Span. I'm well, going to try to make some contact in this ball game today because he swung and missed a little bit too much, striking out twice in his last game. First pitch to Span. Call out strike, and PB's got him on one. Now Przinski sets up. Strike two. PB dominating in this AB. He's got some pitches to play with. And Denard Span comes up empty with that swing. Strike three sets him down. Three up, three down for Jake PB. He has a shutout through three innings of work. We'll head now to the home half. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. And he has to be happy with the work on the mound, especially that last inning. Insurance runs so important. Yeah. 
There's a bullet towards third. And Gritty retired. And a look at who has the most long balls this month, courtesy of State Farm. Well, this is a list of guys that when they get in there, they're looking to do some damage to really hurt the opposition. Looking to drive the ball. It's not just about contact. It's about hard contact. And Jim Tomey. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the lead. Baker sets and throws. Swing and a miss for strike one. He delivers. Ball! And he looks at a changeup in the dirt for a ball. The 1-1. One, one. That one's drilled to short. And he'll take an extra base on this one. It's rolling towards the wall. And he's in at second with a double. One of them. Number 18, Johnny Damon. Only one out here in the inning, so good opportunity here if they can string a couple hits together to make this a very productive inning. And it's Johnny Damon. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and run scored, top five. The pitch. Damon will foul that one away. Slider swung on and missed. Two down. Now check out the movement on this on KCAM. Clocks in at 85 miles per hour. With a runner on second, Alexei Ramirez. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. He's up for that first pitch and misses 0 and 1. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. And there's Young for out number three. So they pick up a hit but leave a man at second. Leading it off, Delvin Young. Now coming into this game, he's got to have some confidence because he picked up two hits last time out. So got to be seeing the ball pretty well. And Peavy misses. He's out of the zone down low. But Gary, they really can't seem to mount any offense at all. I mean, one hit through four innings, and you know you really have to look at your approach at the plate. Swing and a miss by Young. Count not it up. His lifetime average, 356 against the White Sox. Didn't rip at that one, but he misses one and two. Strike three, Dalvin Young down without a swing. Well, it took four pitches, no wasted time right there, and he got him. What I liked the most was he was very deliberate with what he had to do. He knew he had he can go out of the strike zone to get the punch out, and that's what he did, getting him to swing. Line drive, and so Mauer retired. Here's a look at the American League wildcard standings brought to you by State Farm. Time running out now for some of these teams. In first place, it's the Yankees. The Mariners, second place. Third, the Royals. Fourth belongs to the Orioles, fifth place the Rays, and it's the Blue Jays last. Well, wildcard teams have had amazing success when it comes to the postseason. So these teams battling out for the American League wildcard know that if they get there, they've got a legitimate chance to go to a World Series. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Strike two. Strike two. Morneau falls behind on that one. I saw the last game he delivered in the clutch with three RBIs in that one, a big part of their offensive contribution. Fielded by Ramirez. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. No scoring here, ending this half inning. The shutout continues in Chicago. And Paul Kodurka to lead it off. He leads the American League and runs about it in. And he starts Kodurka out. Circle change, cut out and missed 0 and 1. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense, is somebody they've really come to rely upon. It's up against the wall on a bounce. He's going to try to stretch it. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have been in the first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safe. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to set. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quinton. He's number one in runs scored in the league. That ball swung out and hit. Young to field it. One away now. Now 
Now State Farm brings you the teams leading the way in extra base hits for the month. Number one, the White Sox. Second, the Rangers. In third, the A's. Jays fourth. And at number five on the list, the Rays. And Beckham's in the box. He homered earlier in the ball game. One out with a runner at second. First pitch. Hard grounded a short. Picked up by Hardy. And Beckham set down. So Alex Rios will try and keep it going. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. Baker sets and throws. Swings at that first delivery. Curveball by him on one. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And Hardy grabs that one. And the side's retired. And Jason Kubel now to lead it off. Left fielder, number 16, Jason Kubel. And he starts Kubel out. Oh, really what? bad pitch right there. It's a ball. 1 0 on the way. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And that'll put Kubel on first. And that's going to bring J.J. Hardy up. Well, that's the start this team needed. Get that first guy in the inning up, get him on base, and let's see if they can bring him around to score. Runner on first base, nobody out. Hardy settles in, first pitch. And he's got it. Out one. And there's two, a double play. Here's a look, 4-6-3 on the double play. That's the way they teach you, whether you're at second base or shortstop. One fluid motion, get it out of the glove and get rid of it. And Friday's batting. Ground out victim last time through. Base is empty and two down. Here's the first pitch. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. Here's the 0-1 from Peavy. Keeps it down that time. 0-2. This pitcher being very aggressive throwing strikes. I think he's going to try to get him a chase. Pitch on the way. And it holds at 0-2. Slider swung out and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire on the side. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. The White Sox maintaining their lead. He's a big home run guy, top 10 in the league right now. Jay and the first pitch. And he offers at the circle change and misses 0 and 1. Well, he's getting the job done this year, no question about it. Such production, so consistent. Swings, hits this one very high in the air. A soaring drive. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Base is clear, no outs. Joe Creedy. First pitch to Creedy. Couldn't get around in time. 0 1. And we, we talk about how a hit or a home run can be critical at certain points in the ball game. You just saw it. Uh, now you have to wonder how long the man is going to stick with this pitcher as he's given up. Here's that race in the Central Division brought to you by State Farm. Season in the home stretch now. It's the White Sox in first. In second place, it's the Royals. In third, the Indians. Twins are fourth. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. And as Jim told me in the box now, right there in the top five in home runs. Called strike out of half of the plate. Oh, and one. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. Now, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Here's a swing, a long high drive deep into center field. Goodbye, home run. Putting a little padding on the lead. Solo shot up by three.
Well, the catcher's going to have to make some adjustments right now, Gray. That's the third home run he's given up in this game. The hitters have figured out some kind of sequence they're queuing on. Now, good hitting coaches help the hitter do that. Now, Gary, this offense has just been in control right here. Extending the lead, going to make it much more difficult to catch him later. Now the 1-0 -OK. pitch. He got fooled on that one. Takes a cut at a ball down in the dirt. The 1-1 pitch. Ooh, he pulls the string with a circle change, one and two. A great change up right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? Strike three, Damon, on a swing and a miss, turned away. Well, there was some great pitching right there, John. Only four to put him away. But yeah, and that's a great thing. Anytime you can preserve your pitch count and get a quick out by a ground out or a fly ball to get it done most efficiently, but when you need a K, it's there. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Great season, top ten in RBI. Swing, ball is clobbered high, deep to left center field. Add one more to that lead. Fly ball out of here, four up. He went with a four seamer, and I don't know if there's any seams left on that one. He took them way up. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. Well, Steve, we know this lineup's capable of doing this sort of thing, but boy, if you're on the other side, you've got to really feel like they hit you right in the solar plexus. And, and, and from the pitching perspective, they have to try to shut them down. You cannot let them continue to expand this lead. It's going to be very difficult to come back. Swings at that 1-1 pitch. Fastball by him. Strike two. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. And it's off the wall in left center. And he pulls in the second base. That will be a double. Runner on second RBI opportunity for Carlos Quinn. He's the league leader in hits. Mauer setting up. That ball is belted deep to left center field. Ball is on its way. Gone a two-run homer. They add a couple more to the lead now. A home run and a six-run lead. Uh, Gary, this offense has just been in control right here. Extending the lead, going to make it much more difficult to catch him later. Right cut on and missed 0-1. Well, it's tough to tell a hitter to stay back on a fastball, but this is what he needs to do. He's jumping out, trying to get to it, and just way out in front. Throws to first side is retired. So they strike for five runs here, and they have made this a ball game again. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Taking a look at the veteran manager now, Ron Gardenhire. And a tough three outs and a long three outs by his standards. That's a devastating blow for his ball club. The offense still not there. And Peavy misses. He's out of the zone down low. That's a good pitch there. Tried to get him to chase it out of the zone. He just laid off. To left center. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. And the throw. Easily safe well, at second. Fans, be sure to tune in tomorrow night. It'll be Alex Rodriguez and the New York Yankees as they take the trip to Tampa Bay to face the Rays. All gets going at 7 p.m. Eastern. Punto at the plate. He flew out his last time up. First pitch on the way. Catcher can't control it. So they can't make the play. Gary, to make the error right there, you just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. At the belt, the 1-0. Hit hard on the ground to short. Fielded by Ramirez. Over to Canerco. One away. And the run comes in. One out, nobody on. At the belt, Peavy kicks and back up the middle. Peavy. So Span is sent down. Almost fell over when he got to that one. Boy, there's some upper body strength on that. You have to have great body control to play this game. He certainly showed it there. And he got him. First delivery to Young. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Here's the 0-1 from Peavy. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. They pick up a run on one hit. Nobody left. The Twins are making progress. They have cut into this lead. And 
and Alex Cerrillos to lead off. And one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. And he starts Rios out. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. That swung on and a liner here. Oh, a foul ball. And Alex Rios has struck out a big swing and a miss. They had a swing at it. Two strikes, ball up and away. A good pitch to at least put the player foul off, but couldn't quite catch up to it. It's going to be Przinski in the top ten in hits. Big strike one, can't make contact on the fastball. Here's the pitch. A swing and a fly ball in the left center field. And Kubel's able to get to that one. Now it's two down. Greedy into the batter's box. And here's the first one. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0 and 1. Okay, the only way you're going to get back into this ball game is if you get your hitters back in the dugout. And, you know, two outs here with nobody on, and at least maybe some momentum starting to shift. The slider swung out of this, struck him out, side gone. No hits, nobody left on, and a good defensive half inning. The White Sox six. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Oh, Peavy misses. He's out of the zone down low. Now Gary, with this big a lead here in the seventh inning, it's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes. Get outs right now. Lined right at the second baseman. And so Mauer retired. Well, we got a moment here to look at the teams leading the way in ERA. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Red Sox in second. Third, the Mariners. Yankees, fourth. And at number five, it's the Angels. Now, when you lead the league in ERA, it takes a lot of pressure off the offense to score runs. Their pitchers have really gotten it done so far this year and allowed the offense to take some relaxed at-bats. Back up. And Morneau set down. And Kubel's in the box. He had a single in his last time up. First pitch on the way. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Throws on the first side is retired. How about that? Only needed four pitches to set down the guys. Tremendous. The White Sox still ahead. End of the order is going to try and kick it off offensively. There's a familiar face, Isaac Gian looking up. Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. And Jim Tomey. Tome gets in. Here's the first delivery. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Hit up the middle, and it gets through. Finding a way to get on base today is third time. And that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate. He was a strikeout victim last time for the one. Johnny Damon. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swung off, get down the left field line, into the corner. Goodbye, a two-run homer. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Base is empty and no out. Number 10, Alexi Ramirez. The first pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. And he's out at first. What an out. An example of what you can do when you dive. Taking away a hit, making a nice stop, getting the end. It's a great diving play, but I love how quickly he gets to his feet, and it saves the pitcher a base hit right here. Nice job. Canerco at the plate. He doubled at his last appearance. Nobody on base, one away. Here's the first pitch. 
There's a ball. Hit well. Deep in the center field. Way back. Way back. Tell it goodbye. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. One out. Faces him. The pitch. He gets Quentin to swing. Strike one. Career numbers, one for two against Jose Mahares. Swing and a miss on a pitch that's in the dirt. Did not look good on that cut. Well, Carlos Quentin does not pull the trigger on that pitch, and that's going to be strike three. Well, just a great sequence of pitches. Three good choices by the pitcher and the catcher, and he finishes them off quickly. All pitchers love that. Those are short at bats. You get it done in a hurry. And Matt Guerrero gets ready to throw. He'll be relieving for the Twins now. And Beckham's in the box. He homered back in inning number two. Here's the delivery. Back there in deep left center. That's caught. Side is retired. But they strike for three runs here thanks to two home runs in the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Look at ahead. Six, seven, eight. They're due up. J.J. Hardy now. 0 for 2 thus far. J.J. Hardy. Hardy settles in. First pitch. Oh, that one's way back to the backstop. Not a pretty pitch. No damage. A 1-0 pitch. On the ground to short. Fielded by Ramirez. So Hardy is set down. And Friday's batting. Struck out swinging last time. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. And Ramirez feels the ball. Over to Canerco. Two away. We'll talk about settling in. How about retiring eight hitters in a row? I think he settled in. Two outs, space is empty. First pitch to him. Strike Swung one. on and missed. Strike one. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, oh. if you're pitching. I mean, listen, uh, just keep getting outs right now. You have the countdown's there. You only need four outs left to win this ballgame. Slider swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. And they're held in check here in this half inning. Now time for the White Sox. This is their chance in the home half of the eighth. And Alex Rios to lead off. Now they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. Maybe geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. This is a swing hit in the air. And it's foul. This one swung on and driven hard. And it's going to be Young. He comes up with it easily here. Now look at the staff. So the fewest walks allowed for the month. Found on our State Farm leaderboard. Number one, the White Sox. The Royals second. The Red Sox third. Fourth, the Twins. And for the Tigers, fifth. For the last few weeks, neither one of these teams. There is a swing and a liner. And in there, second hit for him in the ball game in this fourth plate appearance. And he's in at second with a double, one up. Well, he finds a pitch he can drive, and his hands just fly through the strike zone. Perfect execution at the plate. And he's in scoring position with just one out. Joe Crady looks to knock in a run. Struck out swinging his last time up. And on second, one away. First pitch to Creedy. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. Two down. Well, he gets the man over to third base, but with two outs now, it doesn't help much, but at least 90 feet closer to score. Jim 
A line drive towards the hole. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Only five pitches to get out of that inning. That'll rest your hand. White Sox nine, Minnesota one. Here's a quick glimpse of Ron Gardenhire. He's reflecting right now. Not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this game. Punto at the plate. He's going to start the ninth inning. Here's the first pitch. Oh, Peavy misses. He's out of the zone down low. Well, I think right now offensively you've got to start getting base runners. Get as many as you can. Here's a swing. A soft liner to the left side. And it's through there. Singles to the left. Well, and that's going to bring Denard Span right to the plate. Here. Too. Well, a great job you know, right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And you know, you, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. Swung on and hit. It's going to be Quentin. That one gets down for a base hit. I mean, Fantastic well, chance here. Well, there's no reason in the world for any hitter to want to swing at that pitch. A pitch down out of the strike zone. Never had a chance at all to be a strike. But that's and it is hit well off the bat of Young. And Young's got himself a single. I mean Great opportunity for Minnesota. Catcher, number 50. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. No one out. Sacks full. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0-1. A shot up the middle. And he gathers this one. That's one out. But he'll hang on to that so they will get one. Well, I said, uh, you know, win a big right now. You just want to go out there, make plays, throw strikes, force them to try to put multiple hits together to get back into this game. The pitch. Oh, Sliders in there. No balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Strike, Strike two. More no falls behind on that one. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch, realizing you Hold can't on. do much when you get that kind of forcing fastball down and away. It's tough to hit. The one two on its way. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he'll just keep it himself, tagging for the other. And they score him. Uh, down to the final out right here, Gary. So made it looking pretty dire at this point. And you know, but listen. Funnier things have happened. They've got to get base runners, though. Simmons up now. Runners at second and third with two outs. Hit on the ground. This could be the end. Fielded by Ramirez. And safe at the plate. He comes across. Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to them now because they are hot. Couple out and two men are on for J.J. Hardy. And for this right. offense right now, something to be positive about. They just don't want to take a good look at the scoreboard. Now well, that hit this offense trying to stay alive. They have a pulse, but it's a very light pulse right now. I don't think they have a pair there. No, not, uh, not probably not going to get back. Lined up the middle. Back up. And that'll do it, everybody. That's out number three. This ball game over. A good all-around effort, Gary, by the White Sox today allowed them to get the win. They've got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. Well, that time, let's take a look at our Pepsi Clutch performer. A terrific mound game, the work of Jake Peavy. And, and for our listeners' benefit, and for you also, Gary, I would have liked to avoid some sort of cliche, but it never stops being true. You can't have enough starting pitching in Major League Baseball. And he gave a command performance today in this one, showing just why having that starting pitching is so vital. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Now, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings, but the hometown fans, they like the offensive explosion and the big win. So, for Steve Phillips and John Cruck, I'm Gary Thorne. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon.